Al your sports lower deck, baby. Big show today. Hold on, let me uh, get these these other groups now while I got time. But I got some time. Whoever tap in, what's up, baby? Y'all can see me, I can't see y'all. Just making that clear. But I will be able to see y'all in a heartbeat. Just give me a minute. Let me get these groups involved. Yeah, yeah, another TGI Friday, baby. Three good guesses coming on today. You don't want to miss out. I got this part-time bro coming back on the set. You know what I'm saying? Salute to uh, James Davis, Big O, the building. Uh, let me see what else I could call out. Part-time bro. You're going to get at me about maybe 10 after. Steve Levine in the building. Eight-time champion, the leader of the open sessions and giveaways. Raul's right on him, though. Yeah, what up, everybody? This is the moment where I take time to say what up to y'all before I start my show. Oh, hold on. Let me fix this real quick. I got the fakers on. The fakers are getting blown out of Charlotte. I don't know what's going on with the fakers. There we go. Yeah, they're getting blown out of Charlotte. They, get, they better fix it up in L.A., man. Really bad in L.A., man. Let me let more people come in before we start this show. We got two after us, six, six Pacific, 902 Eastern. We got a part-time bro coming on, Sportsbook Jeff with all the NFL playoffs, free picks. I don't want to miss this. Brian Ford in the building, my brother. Okay, we starting to get people. Let me start the show, man. Let's get it cracking. Let's go. Out your sports. The roll. Sessions and giveaways every Friday, 6 Pacific, 9 Eastern. Appreciate all the tappings. No drinking and driving, it's the effing law. Don't put yourself in the lifeline, not worth it. Lyft, Uber, all that is out there. Let's go. This is called that salute, John Ryan. I salute everybody. I could be in a club and do this all night. If they play this all night like techno, let's go. Yeah, I'm trying to get it up, man. I'm trying to bring this energy so that we all energize. I gotta set it off for y'all, though. If I don't do it, then who gonna do it? All right, let's get it popping, man. Enough for the uh, other shit. Now let's get to this shit. You know what I mean? Excuse my French, man. I, can't, I gotta forget. Uh, I'm being monetized, so I gotta be real easy. Okay, let's start off by saying, uh, go to YouTube, comment, like, share, hit the notification bell. Y'all know what it is. Y'all been keeping it real. Keep doing what y'all doing. Uh, shout out to the East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, Las Vegas, New York City. Nueva York! Nueva York! Shout out to Dwayne Beeman. I keep telling y'all, buy low, why it's low. He's right now, he's looking for investors. This is the time. You buy low, right now it's low. I can't keep educating y'all. No, no, y'all gotta have to do your work, do what y'all gotta do and get involved. Also, shout out to my man Chico Liston. Uh, he's on the Vegas Strip tonight trying to get that bank. Stay off the booze, buddy. Don't Vin Baker. If you don't Vin Baker, you know you make money. But if you out there being like Vin Baker, you are gonna lose all your money. You know what it is? Salute Chico Linston. Uh, credit fix, never too late to get your credit fix. IG me, inbox me, email me, al.newyork at yahoo.com. Never too late to get your credit fix. One advertisement, hit me up and I'll bless you. Hit me up and I'll bless you. Uh, basically, open sessions and giveaways. I keep telling y'all, try to get another friend. The more the merrier. Because sometimes we got people that can't do the weekly thing and I got to bust my tail trying to fill up these boxes like I did yesterday. We was like 12 behind. I didn't think I was going to do it, but I had some people prevail and come through. Thank you and God bless you. Let's start the show. We're going to the NFL. We all knew that Big Ben was going to retire 
but he made it official. He's officially retired as a Pittsburgh Steelers. 18 great years with the Steelers coming out of Miami, Ohio. I kind of knew the Steelers were going to get him. Did I know he was going to be great like this? No. But I did knew the big boy was a great fit for the Steel City. That I knew, but like I said, I could have never imagined two Super Bowls, 18 years of one team. Salute the Big Ben. I'm going to have a tribute on him this week, so look out for the tribute of Ben Roslenberger. Let me give you some numbers. 249 career games. He had a QB record of 165, 81 and 1, 64.4 completion rate, uh, 64,000 yards passing, 418 uh, touchdowns, 211 interceptions. I kind of thought he was over 500. I didn't know why I thought that. But he has 418 total touchdowns. Salute. Big Ben, you will be missed. I'm a fan of yours. You will be missed. Other news. Uh, the NBA All-Star Game will take place February 20th in Cleveland, Ohio. That means LeBron goes back to his old home. But before anything, I want to give a special salute to a guy that not only did I not think he was going to make the All-Star Game, he started in the All-Star Game, and that's Andrew Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins, salute with the Dub Nation. You know, how is he averaging career highs when he's on a better team with better scorers? That, that got me befundled. But let me give you some of his stats. 45 games this year, averaging 19.4, 4.4 rebounds, 2.3 assists. Salute to Andrew Wiggins for not only making the All-Star game, but we in a Western Conference starter. Salute. Other news, the Denver Broncos, they get they man. They get Green Bay's offensive coordinator, Nathaniel Hackett, which you know what that means. So if Aaron Rodgers is going to Denver, what better way? He's got his offensive coordinator over there. You know Elway's going to go hard for him like he went hard for Peyton Manning. You already know what time it is. So this is why they favorite, if you look at the odds, to get Peyton Manning, I mean Peyton Manning, Aaron Rodgers, psh, uh, they lead in the pack. And this makes it more where if Aaron does leave Lambeau Field, it looks like he's going to Denver. And if he takes Devontae Adams with him, with Judy, Sutton, and the young running back they got over there that's doing his thing, real good defense, that puts the Denver Broncos in my book top two or three in the AFC immediately. Maybe even number one. I mean, they defense is serious. And if Hack is a good coach, like I'm think, I think he's going to be, especially messing with Aaron Rodgers, who he already knows, they might, just, they might just get right to the title game. Salute. God bless um, A.R. wherever you go to. You did choke with Green Bay this year, but I'm going to talk about that a little later. Other news. The Chicago Bears, I don't know what they're thinking. My man Big O must be upset. Big O had uh, had the young boy from uh, Miami that he wanted. I thought Harbaugh would probably end up with the Bears. Instead, they pick up uh, the defensive coordinator for the Indianapolis coach, Matt E. Buffus, as their new head coach and uh, – he also was considered to go to Jacksonville. I mean, I understand the Bears have to make a move, but I don't think this is the move they should have made. Just my opinion. I don't know much about the Buffers, but I'm going by name brand. Harbaugh and that young boy that just left Miami, bro, that kid is a stud. I thought they would get one or two. Instead, they got the Buffers. Let's see what happens with the Chicago Bears. Okay, two minutes. Paul Tom Bo is going to join the show. Give me a minute. Swear bullets, I have to close my window because they're doing construction outside. So I ain't want y'all to hear that, so now I got to deal with the sweating shit, and I'm not taking off the hoodie. Okay, we're going to free picks real quick. Last week, we went two and three as a unit. No good. That's lost money. Noah went one and one. He gave out the Packers. 
You seen what happened in Lambo? He gave out the Rams plus three. They won outright in Tampa. One and one. Jeff uh, Sportsbook Jeff also went one and one. Losing with the Titans at minus three. He said buy it down to three. They lost by three. And he also gave the Chiefs at minus two in one of the best games that we all ever have ever seen. To me, the best fourth quarter ever. I don't know about best game, but definitely the best fourth quarter. But the Chiefs covered the two. I lost my teeth. I went 0-1. I had Green Bay money line, and I'm still stick to my stomach, man. I had them with the Chiefs plus four. You see Chiefs won outright. I can't believe Green Bay, but like I said, we're going to get to it a little later. I want to get into it now, but I got to wait a little later. Let's move on. Uh, this week's picks, Noah's going to run with the Los Angeles Rams. If you could get them at three at home, you know what I mean, against the San Francisco 49ers who owned them. He's running with the Rams at minus three, three and a half. If you get three and a half, buy it down to three. Or if you can find the three later three. You got Jeff. Uh, Jeff likes the Rams also, but he likes the Cincinnati Bengals at plus seven. So Jeff's kind of turning the table here. He likes the Bengals. He likes Joe Burrow. We're going to talk about that. And for my teaser, uh, matter of fact, I'm not going to give a teaser. I'm going to give a money line parlay. I like bringing the Chiefs down just to win. And the Rams just to win. I know the Niners own them. I understand that. But if you watch the last game, I even watched the last game on YouTube all over again. Rams were smoking them. They took their foot off the pedal. They was up 17-0. And guys who follow McVay know when he goes into halftime, his record was something like 34-0 when leading at half. He's almost a guaranteed win. Niners came back dramatically, stole that game in so far, and broke his record. Then he almost lost another big second half, uh, first half lead with the Tampa Bay Bucks last week, but they put it together late and they won. Okay, part time bro, I'm waiting for you. E Vega in the building. Let's go. I just wanted to give you a lot of information before I surrender. Here we go. Let's hope all this goes real sweet. Hi. Yeah. You are gonna laugh so hard. Let me let me let me transfer. Let me, let me transfer something. I should have done it a little while ago. Give me one minute. You're going to laugh so hard because you told me to be in my studio and there's this alarm going off. So I went out to my car. I brought out my ring light, my microphone, everything. <laughs> well, you know what? Listen, you sound perfect. Let's hope it stays like that. Your face ain't moving. You ain't juggling. No, but I, oh, I brought out my hotspot, my ring light, my mic because there's an alarm going off. And I was like, I can't have this. I'm going to come back to the Al York Sports Show. Oh, you amped up, and that's exactly what we need, everybody. This is a great friend of mine, the Mary, Miss hey, Part-Time Bro. I'm one back. Of the best, listen, I'm not going to say the best female. I'm going to say one of the best in the game. Woo! All right? So, let, listen, let's get going real quick, because I got you and two other people. I really want to get into your brain real quick. We're going to jump to the NFL, and I'm going to name you a couple of surprises, and I want you to back up my theory. I can't wait. Cincinnati oh, I got Bengals, for you, Cowboy fan, too. Cincinnati Bengals get into this championship conference game. What does that mean to you, Mary, What being a football fan? Oh, it, I just – not not even an underdog, just long overdue, Okay. And I think this Joe Burrow is the truth. Oh, I'm hell yeah. Sure. I, I, and Jamar Chase, they're a cute little, you know, God, Joe Burrow has so much swag. Dear God. But the Bengals, I just, oh, my God, since the 80s, I mean, oh, they're, I mean, they're. Kenny Anderson, Boomer Esiason. I mean, I think, I'm not saying that 
They're the Super Bowl champs this year. They're going to the Super Bowl. But Joe Burrow is the truth, and I think these the Bengals have a bright future. Oh, indeed, especially if he stays away from injury. What I don't understand, you got a franchise quarterback, but you letting him get killed. He got sacked nine times last week. That can't happen. You know that. Against a Titans defense. Damn. You cannot let the quarterback get sacked nine times, and he still beat you. Yeah. Had to do it a lot with Tannehill and them three picks, but we'll get to that in another day. Let's go to the next surprising uh, subject I got for you. Aaron Rodgers getting bumped so early in the second round when I had him to win it all. Is it a surprise? This Not seems really like a, a surprise because every year the same shit happens. But I really thought with all the controversy, everything working around him, he got the MVP last year. I just thought, like, you know what? The Cheeseheads is going to win this year for sure. Didn't happen. I, I, and, and let's excuse my Minnesota Viking fandom. I'm talking from a football, football standpoint. This is the thing about the Packers. I am not – quarterback is the <laughs> easiest to blame, easiest to give um, congrats to, right? This is the thing. That Packers defense gives up a lot of plays. Their special teams has – I can't – I forgot if I can cuss on the show. F them over, especially last week. I'm married. Okay. I'm married. They only gave up six points defensively. Correct. That block punt, you can't blame that on the defense. No, no. If you I, told me that the Niners were going to score six points, hold up. I go to the sports book and I to put everything I got on the Packers. Now, yes, but in their season in general, I'm talking about their defense. Aaron Ro and and listen, Jimmy G won, and it, it, it's crazy. We're so easy to forgive Aaron Rodgers, but if Jimmy G was putting that boat. He would have been the worst quarterback next to Kirk Cousins that you've ever seen. So, um, Jimmy G is going to two Super Bowls in two years, and a lot of people give that guy shit. He's doing his job. I'm not sold on Jimmy G. He has I the love team him. around him. He has the team around him. Yeah, they, that's what I'm saying. But he does have to play his part to a degree. But I'm not sold on Jimmy G. Jimmy not, G did I, not no, win that he's game. Not, he's not the answer, but he, he's getting the job done. Yes, yes. And that's 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 what Shanahan wants. A game manager, an Alex Smith type. Mm -hmm. But Jimmy G's got to stay away from those big picks that every game you know is coming. Every game. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. Aaron Rodgers. Also, wait, one more thing on Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is the one of the best regular season quarterbacks. I know y'all think he's the GOAT. Like a Peyton Manning. He has won a Super Bowl. That man plays good in the regular season, and then he's like, eh. Yeah, he choked. He choked. But not every game. The game he loses, he's choked. But the game they win, he lights it up. But he still chokes in the playoffs. Yeah. I got no excuses. He messed me up two years in a row. So I'm not here about to save Aaron Rodgers. TB12 not going to the chip. Does that help his causes to retire? Or you think that'll make him want to come back since he didn't make it to the chip? Man, it's, it, it's interesting. Oh, man. I feel like his mentality, he's going to, like, want to go out on a win. But he's also, what has he not done? Thanks. Maybe he enjoy his mid-40s with his family, you know? So I actually think he might go out. I think he might, like, all right, it's been fun. He's done it all. Dear God. I'm going to make it short and simple. If the Rams run him out of Raymond James, he would have came back. But the fact that he bring that team back and tie the score part-time, bro, with 42 somewhat seconds and the defense let Cooper Cup happen, I think he could actually leave on his note. Me too. Because he bring him back. Yeah, it wasn't him. So that's why I think he can gel off to the sunset. But if mm -hmm. they would have got blown out, I don't know TB12 personally, but I know kind of how he thinks. I think he's back another season. I think he'll have one more. No, I think he's going to flail. I think he did enough. Gazelle don't want to see him get hit no more. The <laughs> kids are crying on him. Why risk another injury? You went to Tampa Bay. 
for you, two years and you and already what, got a chip. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers been in Green Bay 17 years and got one chip. The guy don't got one. nothing to prove. One chip. Yeah. He's, I think, seven and three in Super Bowl play. Brady don't got nothing enough to prove. He got all the money. His wife got all the money. Salute and God bless him. Let's go to my next topic real quick. Does it surprise you that Andy Reid and the Kansas City Chiefs continue to win playoff games and get to the big conference championship game, which is their fourth in a row part-time, bro? Yeah, and, you know, I actually feel that the Chiefs and Bills are going to be the new, like, Patriots. Colts. That's what, yeah, that's what it's seeming like. Yeah, I think that we're going to see that's what's going to be the rivalry. You're going to get so sick of seeing it every year. The Chiefs, I swear to God, the NFL is a week-to-week -week league, baby. And it's they heat up at the right time. Look how the Chiefs started off. We're like, this ain't the Chiefs. They heated up when they needed to. They're getting the job done, and they're probably going to the Super Bowl. So, Andy Reid, to me, do not get enough respect as a head coach absolutely not and, and the when guy the guy's amazing the guy <laughs> when i tell you he's amazing and you can't take nothing away from eric the enemy that's been playing his part especially he this should year. have a head coaching job he will he I will but take, they say they're the best them. they saying they're the best tandem so if you be enemy if you can pay if they could pay him like a head coach why go anywhere else? Just stay That's with Andy. Andy's going to retire in the next couple years. That's You'll true. be the next up for Kansas City. That's what I would do. Instead of rushing for a head job, then you go to Jacksonville and stink up the joint, and then <laughs> what? You see what I'm saying? But yes, yes, yes. I'm going to put you on the spot. Oh, I can't wait. Who wins it all and tell us why? The Rams! Listen, everyone's uh, – listen, my, the, the, the better in me, the gambler in me, the non-sports fan in me, I think it'll be Niners-Chiefs, a rematch. But in my heart, I just think it's – Sean. this is the biggest game of Sean McVay's career, this game right now. He went – the Rams went all in. They don't got a draft pick until I'm 50, man. Okay? Telling you, man. Man, they don't – they went all in, baby. And so I want to see it, okay? These guys are not going to go the end of draft for years. They went all in on defense. And I just, you know, it's like someone's time. I just want Matthew Stafford. I got a lot of respect for the guy. I just want to see him win. I ain't mad at you. They started off horrible when they acquired these pieces. Mm -hmm. I thought that ended up helping them, to yeah. be honest with you. Sometimes because you now they were able to define, you mm -hmm. know what? They're not giving us nothing to marry. They, mm -hmm. They're not. We're going to have to earn it. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something. I learned more about that defense this past week. Floyd is so underrated on that defense. Mm -hmm. We all know what Miller and Aaron Donald could do. We all know that. But And we know Ramsey. But Floyd, you got pressure coming from all over, and you got consistent pressure. Yep. Consistent yep. pressure. Yep. Yep. I think they're gonna win it all, but that nine game ain't gonna be easy by oh, far unless they get they Jimmy G. Seven, the Listen, Niners they get Jimmy G to throw a couple of early picks, they're gonna run them out of So Fox Stadium. I don't think the Niners can do it seven times in a row. But I, I I'm not gonna go there because you got Niner fans looking in. I love you, Niner fans. Love Yo, you, I'm bro. I can't say that because they'll blow me up on my page. <laughs> All I'm going to say, I'm leaning on the Rams. Niners got a beautiful season. God bless their season. I knew they was always good, but they shocked me with that win in Lambeau. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on. If you had a gun in your head, where's Aaron Rodgers going to, baby? The Denver Broncos. He's going to be a donkey. He's not going to be part of a rebuild. They have the complete package. They've been lacking in quarterback. Um, we saw it before. Right. Uh, their defense is the truth. Uh, they got weapons. Um, uh, listen, maybe you just get a quarterback there. You can bring, I don't know, maybe like a couple of years ago, we saw the same thing happen. Um, Aaron Rodgers, it just – 
listen, Packers are going to go in rebuild mode in general. They're they're in cap trouble. They they Lafleur. I mean, I think the Aaron Rodgers. They had their shot. This, they this had their shot. And it's time. Was it's time. Shot. They can get a. They can trade one of the greatest quarterbacks to another team. Yeah, rebuild. First round picks. They start getting those rookie receivers, rookie defenders. Patch him up with Jordan Love and let that era begin and get yep. us north back to the truth over here, okay? Um, the Minnesota Vikings. Just kidding. Um, but, yeah, so he's going to be a Bronco. I thought the Steelers maybe because him and Tomlin, you know, they love each other. But the Broncos make the most sense to me. I think it makes the most sense to everyone. I'm sorry, did their offensive coordinator, the Packers offensive coordinator, become the head coach of the Broncos? It's Daniel I, Hackett. What more do you need here? That's what I'm saying, but I'm going to tell you what scares me. It's just, it looks too easy. Like, I know. And then not only that, Vegas got a line plus 250. Sheesh. Part time, bro. Like I said, if it's that easy, <coughs> send me some money. I put my money, and we put that he's going to Denver, and we just get a lot of money. If it's <laughs> that easy. He's not going to be a Packer. And that's not your girl dreaming of him getting out of the damn NSC North, okay? I'm telling I you, he's you. out. He's out. Okay, real quick. Um, I'm going to give you something I think you're going to have fun with. I can't let you leave without giving you one of your favorite situations, which oh, is the boy. Skull Gang. What happens with Kirk Cousins? We have one more year left with him. That's it. I think he'll Do be a Do you want to trade him? Get something for him? Or just losing the free agency. Uh, I think that I think that we will keep. We has he has one year left on his contract, so we don't eat any money. I think. I mean, he's been with us four years. I a lot of people don't understand this. Part time bro has tried to put this in people's heads. Kirk Cousins is playing in his prime. People think, oh, he's he's not the greatest. I didn't say that. Kirk Cousins is playing to his top game. Take that. Another as regular season, good quarterback. Another regular season good quarterback. Sucks in the prime time. So that lets me know if you suck in prime time games, just you ain't going to be a good playoff year. quarterback. Just get him one more year and let's freaking get someone else. All right. That's <laughs> My boy Ernest Vegas said he's trash. But uh, <laughs> I know you don't want to hear that. Everyone, it's so funny. Like, okay, yeah, whatever. Part time, bro. Last word, sweetie. Thank you for making time. And like I told you, hit oh, me up when you want to get on. I have missed you. I will be back regularly, guys. It's been a crazy six months for me. I'm on the radio Monday through Friday. I'm the sports animal. It's universal. Download the app, 7 to 10 a.m. Uh, you know, I always bring the heat. I love you so much. There you go. Thank you. God bless you. No drinking and driving. You heard no, me. Oh, no, 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 no. The man drives. I drink. Oh, there you go. Get home safe. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay, part time, bro. All right, guys. Yeah, man. I'm just so glad to have a female on the set that really, really knows her stuff. I just think it brings more flavor to you guys. I'm just trying to give you guys more than you can handle. Don't hate me for that. Sportsbook Jeff, if you in the building, come in because I got Eve Vega ready to cook some stuff up. So if you in the building, Sportsbook Jeff, Hit me up. Oh, he got on that quick. He said, F.E. Baker. Okay, Jeff, we having that same issue. You got to download the app again. We having that same issue. You know what to do. E. Baker, I'm going to try to bring you in quick if I could. While Jeff gets that fixed up. Let me see. E. Baker, try to come in real quick. Okay, guys, uh, while we're trying to fix this here, Aaron Rodgers is basically a big topic, man. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me try again. Yeah, Jeff, it's not letting me. What, you got to download the thing. E. Baker, come back in. Oh, hold up, Jeff. Hold up. Let me see if I can add you. Okay, I might be able to add you. There we go. What up, what brother? Up? What's going on? <laughs> What's happening? All right, listen, let's work quick. I don't want to bore the people with nonsense. I know you got a situation, personal situation. God bless you in the situation. Let God lead you past through this, okay? Let's go. 
Okay, let's get let's get going right away. Big NFL weekend, conference Huge. championships. We gonna break this mother hubbard down today, me and you. We starting off with the ten and seven Cincinnati Bengals at the twelve and five Kansas City Chiefs at Arrowhead Stadium. They played in Paul Brown earlier, 34-31 victory by the Bengals. Now they're going to Arrowhead with the revenge factor and with Jerick McKinnon, who's playing off the charts right now. Your take on this Sunday matchup, Jeff. The lot of minus, minus seven Chiefs. Let me get that out there. Minus seven Chiefs. Minus seven and a half. What if the seven and a half? It's seven and a half. Wow, they're betting the hell out of KC. Well, I'm going to tell you, to look at this game, we have to look at that first game a little bit. When I went back and reviewed that first game, that game actually was two touchdowns spread most of the game for Kansas City until late in that game. Now We were watching it. We both had, we both had Cincinnati. I remember that. We did. Now, what's interesting about that whole entire game was is that the two areas the Chiefs really did well in, running the football with Williams and the return game. They had 140 yards on, on returns. Yeah, they killed them in special teams. 155 yards against the, the Pringle, right, ground. Pringle was the one that killed them. Correct. Well, here's the interesting thing. The number five team in the NFL against the run is the Cincinnati defense. It was, I believe it was an aberration. I don't believe that 140 yards are going to be there in the return game. This go around either. A little different weather. Now, taking a step further, we all know that Mahomes is 8-2 <laughs> in the playoffs, except for the two games of Brady. He's got two losses against Mr. Brady. Okay? Right. But he's only one against Burrow. Now, looking at some of the scenarios in this game that I think is very interesting, very interesting, okay, is that you have the least – the referees in this game that call the least amount of penalties all year in the NFL. Is that this right? Could be a, that can be a huge deal in this game. Kansas City was a top. Where 10. do you get this kind of information there, buddy? I tell you what, I just call the league office, baby. This is it great information. Yeah. Kansas City is a top 10 team penalized in the NFL. So you put the least amount of guys in there, you know, calling flags, they may get away with a little bit more this game. Okay. Cincinnati, I believe, was the second least penalized team in the NFL behind Green Bay, okay, which is huge. Now, here's the biggest stats for me on this game. Joe Burrow is 8-0. He's going back to his senior year at LSU in elimination games, 8-0. and zero. Wow. You, you still can't take out the fact that Andy Reid <laughs> is 3-9 and nine in championship games. One and two. The majority of that is with the Eagles, though. Let's be quite frank. That's right. Okay. But the whole matter of fact here is, is I think the Chiefs are belly full. I think they think they won the championship game last week. Okay. You've got a Bengals team here that's been under the radar all year long. Number five defense. Okay. <laughs> the number seven offense. The Chiefs got tore up last time. Burrow over 400 yards. Chase going off for 260, 11 catches, you know, three touchdowns, okay? And we got a situation here with the, the Honey Badger still up in the air if he's going to play. <coughs> and that defense is a different thing. And here's the big thing that people can come back and say, we just saw Tennessee sack Joe Burrow nine times. Do you That's a fact, sack? though. How well, do you a, not look at that? Here's another fact. You know how many times the Chiefs sacked the Bengals in the last game? Zero. Zero. The Chiefs don't get after the passer the way the Titans do. Okay? Right. With that being said, I still think it's a long shot for the Bengals to go into Arrowhead in this situation. <laughs> but there is way too much value here with plus seven and a half. If you, if you identify the schedules, Okay, Cincinnati did as well against the same teams, if not better, than what Kansas City did. Okay, <laughs> we don't know anything about this coach. They had no talent for two years before he was there or getting injured. Okay, 
They have nothing to lose here. Zero. If they come out in this game and they play the run better than they did the first time, they limit the return games, they put the pressure on Mahomes to have to go out there. And he's been hot. Okay. But Cincinnati, like I said, their secondary is pretty tough too. I see a, I see a much lower scoring game than the first go around. And I think it's tight. I'm going to say for sure Cincinnati is my underdog play of the week. Cincinnati covers this game. Money line, I would say <coughs> I give them a three to one shot. Okay. It's just depending on how it falls. Right. But I do. But I believe. Seven and a half is way too many points in this ball game. That that spread, if you take Cincinnati Bengals off the back of that jersey and in front of that jersey, okay, that's probably a three point spread. Right. Okay, let me eat now. I'll let you eat. Let me eat. You eat, dog. To me, Cincinnati has done more this year than anyone has expected. They can lose this game, and they, they can hold their head up high. They win it. That's not to say they're not going to go to Arrowhead and try to get that game. But let me tell you something. Where's one of the toughest stadiums to play at? Arrowhead Stadium. It's going to be rocking over there this Sunday. Jeff, I don't think these kids had ever seen anything what they're going to see this Sunday. Not to mention a team that's been there. That's two and one in their last three conference championship games. Only lost to the Patriots that you know and I know they got cheated that game. So they should be three and oh. Would you agree with me? I agree with you. Not only that, the Chiefs are a way different team defensively at home. Now I know last week's Buffalo game. It's going to mess with people's mind. All oh, their defense is weak. Buffalo ran all over them. Buffalo ran over everybody. They put 47 on so-called Patriots that had a good defense. What happened to that? Right. They could score on anybody. Cincinnati's very similar, but they not Buffalo's injured. Not with that weak offensive line, they not. Only way Cincinnati can win this game is that Kansas City has to beat themselves. That's the only way I see them. Not to mention, it's a revenge game. Week 16, was it, right, when we had them? Week 16. 34-31. You don't think Andy Reid got that clip ball ready to show them that before they get on the field? Well, I tell you what. I like, look, I I like your seven and a half. Game, Listen, but I, I love your seven and a half. I don't think revenge has anything to do in this game. If they got their ass whooped, that's one thing. They didn't get their ass whooped. Okay? No, but I listen. I let you talk. Let me finish. <laughs> I didn't jump in on you. Why are you jumping in on me? What I'm saying is they kind of have to beat themselves. There's got to be a fumble there a Mahomes pick, or like, you know, they're not moving the ball. And Joe Burrow's going to have to have time to throw that rock. Because if you think Kansas City's not unleashing them guys, I can't remember the coordinator's name. He used to be with the Giants. What's his name? Uh, it is Spen uh, Spenano. Spen if you don't think he's sending them all game, He's not going to let Joe Burrow go to Arrowhead and shred them up. No, that's not going to happen. Burrow's going to have pressure the whole game. The key is, can he hit that receiver that he needs to hit when they put that pressure? I think that's asking too much for the young boy. I think they compete, but I think KC will find a way to go to another Super Bowl. That's my opinion. You, you got anything else before we move on to the last game? No, but like, like you said, uh, a lot of that stuff's given, but I'm saying if you look like so you look closer at that first game, yeah. you see what's going on here. If Let's set me up, Jeff, because we only got five minutes for the next game. I will definitely want to hear your opinion on this. Cincinnati stops the run in this game. Cincinnati wins the game. 
I think they need to do a little more than that. They got to protect Joe Burrow. I don't care if you stop the run. If Joe Burrow was out there running for his life, what does that mean? But again, my home to them is the best passing team in the game. Zero. Yeah, I can see KC get 20 total yards running. My homes will put up four or five about hundred yards. So what that mean? But let's go to game two. Let's go to game two. Ten and seven, San Francisco 49ers. I think it's Ernest Vega team, because Ernest Vega got like 20 teams. It's hard to know who he really likes, Jeff. Every week he got a new team, but he said he likes the Niners. 10 and 7 at 12 and 5, Los Angeles Rams at SoFi Stadium. I'm seeing three and a half across the board. Your take on this game. Remember, we got to split these like last six minutes. So I know you want to eat, but I got to eat also. Go ahead. I'm going to go real fast. Keep it real simple for all you Al York listeners out there. This is the game of the year of the NFL. Find Many your reasons. Man, find your man, get your bag, and take it up there and lay it on the Rams. This is not going to be a close game. Okay? First of all, number one team in the playoffs against the run, the Los Angeles Rams. The number one team on third down defense at 13%. Three out of 24, the Los Angeles Rams. The worst team in the playoffs on third down conversion, the San Francisco 49ers. Okay? You bring the fact now that you got the most penalized group of referees like to throw that flag in this game. Who led the league this year in pass interference penalties? And it wasn't even close. The San Francisco 49ers with 20. The next closest was Tampa Bay at 14. It wasn't even close. Okay. You're lucky I don't want to jump in on you because I'm going to let you eat, but I really want to jump in. But go ahead. The grabbing, the holding they're doing, done. The Rams let off the gas the first time. We know it. They've lost six in a row. We know it. Okay. Yes, this is McVay's thing. But here's the thing. The NFL's had one championship, <laughs> one in Southern California entire existence, the 1983 Los Angeles Raiders. They have a problem out there right now, as you know, that they're not allowing anybody outside of LA zip code get tickets. They gotta build a fan base, okay? This is not gonna be close. They now, they need to establish their fan base out there more than they realize, okay? And they need to win a championship. And you're gonna find out the Niners are going down there, great <coughs> run in the playoffs, Tip my cap, okay? Jimmy G is going to be Jimmy G here. I okay. see the Rams. It's my, it's my turn. I'm looking at the time. You had your three minutes. You I'll go. get back to you. The Rams got to do the same exact thing they did the last time they played. They punched him in the mouth early. was up 17, nothing. But they got to finish this time. They leave the Niners hanging around. The Niners are going to win this game. That's why I like your blowout concept. McVay knows they got to run them out the building. They know that. They got the potential to. All they got to do, and I know that Shanahan is not going to put the game in Jimmy G's hands. We all know that, like you said, jet sweeps and all that. We know that. But if they somehow configurate to take away the running game and put it on Jimmy G's head. I agree with you. They're going to run them out the building. But I just think the, the Niners running game is too powerful. You're not going to stop it. You're going to contain it. Big difference. And that's key. And then if they can run the ball, Jimmy could throw a couple of first downs, stay in the game late, and then find a way, like they did the last game, to beat them. You the Rams, you want to run them out the building. You want to get up 20, like you did against the Bucs, just like that. It's yet to be seen. Gun in my head, I'm running with the Rams. You running with the Rams. No one's running with the Rams. Last time all three was on the same team was the Pittsburgh Steelers. We all lost. That's the only That's thing true. I'm worried about. But everything else, I think, is set up for the Rams to get at least to the Super Bowl. At least. Any last words before I let you go? My last word is, is remember this. 
Everybody remembers the Debo Samuel run to set up the field goal in Green Bay. Don't forget, Debo was hurt on that play. There hasn't been a lot of talk this week. So right. you might want to check the injury report. I don't know if we're getting 100% Debo in this game, too. That's my ending statement. They're going to shoot that bad boy up. He's going to be ready to go, bro. That <laughs> adrenaline with that shot, Debo going to be out there looking like a young little 12-year-old boy. Trust me. That D that we all think is the, one of the best Ds going to have to show up. Aaron Donald has to show up. Vaughn Miller has to show up. Jalen Ramsey has to show up. And Stafford has to stay away from – both quarterbacks got to stay away from turnovers. They do. Jeff, a pleasure as always. Uh, like I said, I'm rooting for you to overcome your situation. Any last words, brother? The floor is yours. No, enjoy the weekend, everybody. Hopefully we have two great games like last weekend. And, uh, again, get those bags ready for the Rams blowout. <laughs> All right, my brother. We'll talk real soon. Keep your head up, baby. Let's go. Okay, Sportsbook Jeff, baby. Okay, uh, Chango, if you're in the building, you got to come on early or now I got E. Baker on deck. E. Baker ready to bring that heat. But if you're in the building, Chango, let's get it popping. I'm going to give you a minute, and I'm going to call for E. But we ain't got that much time. I got to do the giveaways. Got two of them today. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay, we got them. Let's see if we can get them in. Yo, hey, what's yo, up, yo boy, baby. What's happening? What's up, everybody? Yo, boys in the building. What's going on, Tango? Yo, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing? How y'all been? Real quick, I just want to let y'all know I'm going to be covering the Golden Knights now since the Raiders season unfortunately came to an end. So real quick, let me jump in there. Um, the Golden Knights right now are currently we are in the Pacific Division. We're first sitting at, uh, we got 44 games played with 25 wins, 16 losses. Right ahead of the Ducks at 22 wins, 16 losses and the Kings. Kings are third, Ducks are second. You got Flames in fourth and Sharks in fifth. Right, sharks suck. Sharks suck. But um, <laughs> um, the last two games over the Knights, to be honest, have struggled. On um, Tuesday, January twenty fifth, we played against the first games. Um, VTK kept the close, but they lost in the end, of three to four. Um, three of our guys scored a goal. Um, Patrick scored a goal with one assist. Um, Hag, uh, Hag or Hagen, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, also got a goal himself, and uh, another one of our guys named Howden or Bowden, something like that. I got to get uh, acclimated with the names and the players more, but I got you guys. Um, on the Hurricane side, uh, one of the guys, A-Ho, scored two goals. That's, that's his name, A-H-O, not A-Ho. <laughs> um, scored two goals. Um, another guy, Nita Terreri, something like I don't know. It's hard to pronounce. Scored Just a goal say it. Listen, don't worry about it. Just say how it comes out. Just say it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Listen, the name is so hard to say. Ain't nobody going to be paying minds anyway. If it's the hockey names, I'm the worst in the world. So you ain't you ain't telling me nothing. It's like you and Versace and Versace. Exactly. <laughs> so, Listen, real quick, though, uh, Chango. Uh, every night it seems like they got a chance to win it all. Do you feel like that again this year? Well, to be honest with you, I mean, the Knights, I mean, since they came in, I mean, since they came in ever since they were an expansion team, they they were, uh, they went to the chip the first year. So they've always kind of been like in that, in that, you know, that mode of, you know, where we can get there necessarily kind of like a, like a Chiefs Patriots type shit we can kind of compare it to now. So I do feel like every game that they go out there, they win. We have, an, we have a very explosive offense. To be honest, our goalie, I don't, I don't, I'm not too high on him. I'm still, still kind of upset that we let go of Mark Andre Fleury. I really like him. Oh them. man, my, my wife's him. sister loves Fleury. She basically yeah. cried when they got to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she loved that kid, bro. I but bought yeah, her a no. jersey. Me and my wife bought her the Fleury jersey. You know, to <laughs> up a little bit. You feel me? But she loved that guy, man. I was really high on him because, especially because the year before we actually picked him up. Well, the year that we picked him up, the year prior, he had won a. Uh, the Stanley Cup with the um, who was it? I forgot who it was. Uh, I think it was the Penguins or something like that. I'm not. I'm not too sure, but I know he won the chip. 
take a full view before he came over. But this last game, BGK, yesterday they dropped the ball. Uh, one to four against the Panthers. Panthers are a pretty good team, not too bad, but we only scored one goal. One of our guys, um, White Cloud, one cloud scored one goal. Right, right. We scored the whole game. Um, excuse me. Um, the goalie, though, the goalie had uh, 24 saves on uh, 25 shot attempts, which is not too bad. That's you know, great. So, yeah, you know, but that's great. Is, 25 shots, only one win. We can't, we can't. That's great. But Chango, listen, I don't mean to cut you off, but I got a few minutes left. Let's right. jump to the Raiders real quick. What's the latest you heard about the head coaching position? Well, for the head coaching position, I know that lately they've they interviewed lately uh, Ed Dodds. Ed Dodds, from what I read, really blew the Raiders away. He has a history with the Raiders as well with the Davis family. Um, so, but I've seen a lot of people that I follow. They're they're not they're not too high on Ed Dodds, but they wouldn't mind it. I guess Ed Dodds trying to keep his um, windows and his options open. They've requested to interview Spygate, Josh McDaniels. Right. Um, what's it called? To be honest, when it comes to Josh McDaniels, a lot of people say, boy, his last stint as a head coach, you know what he did. Everybody knows what he did. But, I mean, like you said, you know, people learn. People learn from their mistakes and they grow. And honestly, I want to, I want to be too mad seeing Josh McDaniels in, in the silver and black. I think he's pretty good, not too no, bad. No, let, let me tell you something. The fact that he so-called failed in Denver. Right. Came back with the GOAT, which is Belichick. Oh, that that's it. my man. Yeah. A couple years, he ready to go there. <coughs> he ready to go to Vegas, dog. If it, I think he'll do pretty good. Because mm. now he been through it. He went back. Maybe learned what he couldn't do on his own again with Bill. Because as you go through experiences, any smart individual learns from their mistakes. Unless you just a dumb dude. Like, you'll never learn. But yeah, any spot learns from their mistake. Man, I think that's a perfect fit on the low for y'all. I know you want the other names, maybe Harbaugh, Flores. I understand all that. But if y'all could get Josh McDaniel, trust me, that's an upgrade. Mm. So if I'm you, get on the phone, call Versace, tell him bring McDaniel. Not Versace, call whoever's going to be the GM. So Mayock ain't there. So who is the GM now? Oh, David's going to do everything right now. To be honest with you, that's another thing that I'm looking at is I haven't seen them actually talking so much about the GM. It's mostly been about the head coaching position. Right. And I'm thinking maybe maybe Mark Davis might come in and do his own GMing, but I hope he can find somebody. Uh, yeah, I think Josh, like I said, I think Josh McDaniels would be would be a, a solid pickup for us as well. Like, I agree with everything you Yo, said. Yo, when you said I agree, that, really 100%. Yo, my head stood up. I, I, I could see that working. Mm. Like, I really could. I know he failed in Denver. That's what right. people going to see. But he went back to the GOAT yeah. to learn what he had to learn to, to be basically fulfilled. I think right. Josh ready, man. Right. If he ain't ready now, when is he going to be ready? So I think he's ready. Any last words, bro? Because I got to get this uh, giveaway uh, going. Like, like Jeff just mentioned, as a matter of fact, we're not even going to be holding on the project. <laughs> Uh, last point I read, he was going to be signing to the Chicago Bears as their special teams coordinator. So, you know, like I said, you know, much love and much respect to Bazzaccio. Thank you for your services and turning this ship around, taking this team that, you know, <laughs> had so much turmoil. Oh, my giving, gosh. Giving us a winning the record. The fact that you guys made the playoffs to me yeah. was totally amazing. Yeah. And I had them not making it. No, nobody, nobody in my mind had the out. playoffs. Nobody, People would call me their schedule. Yo, Al, they'd be play. lucky to win another game. It got that bad. Yeah. And y'all yeah, made the play. So I, <laughs> I'm the raw truth. I got to give it up. I can't even lie if I wanted to lie. Right, right, Great right. season for you guys, considering what you went through. Now, it's yeah. a horrible season what you went through. That's horrible. Yeah, oh, But to sure. keep the team up, the guys that didn't deserve it, dumb guys to step up. Under man, losing play after play and coach everything, mm -hmm. people hurt, substitutes coming in, and play not only a great Sunday night to get in, but also a great playoff game that they could have won. Yeah. All props to the Raiders and your team, bro. You know, I'll, I'll dish you when they doing bad. Sorry, I'm giving you no. props, dog. You got no. a lot to look forward yeah. to. But Davis right now, has to press the right buttons.
And if he does, you're just going to go up. Mm. Very important. He pressed the right button. GM, good head coach. He's got to get both in there. Let's hope that he does the right thing for well, the city of Las Vegas. Like, like, like uh, Jeff just mentioned, yo, shout out to Jeff. He's very knowledgeable the game. That one minute. Guy. One minute. Get it. There was a guy, um, Ziegler, uh, Ziegler, Ziegler, I do not know how to pronounce the name. Uh, another uh, another guy from the Patriots that they had interviewed for the GM position. Uh, there's been like a uh, few guys, but I've been mostly hearing mostly about the head coach and shit. They're, they're trying to show up that for sure. But like you said, um, Dave, Dave Ziegler, they interviewed him for the head coach. I mean, sorry, for the um, for the GM position. I'm sorry. They got so many things that they need right now. Yeah. <laughs> but. You know, so but last words is always because um, I know you got to do the uh, the giveaways and all that. So shout yeah, out! To I, got, uh, I got a yeah. I uh, got the ghost waiting, Raul waiting, <laughs> Jessica waiting. They 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 like feening like crackheads. Oh, no, I don't need it. Up. Eight, nine, ten time winners and shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. My number's coming. I'm a one time winner. So <laughs> get off, <y> all. <laughs> give me give me uh, my, what I want to get out of here. Here we are. I got you, yo. Shout out to everybody. Much love, you guys. Uh, be safe. More drinking and driving. And just real quick, Raiders! Let's go, baby. You guys have you a blessed know, one. Baby. We'll see you Thank next you. week. Keep doing the homework on the Golden Knights. We'll tap in next week. Hold your head up. Big Chango. No drinking and driving, baby. Next week, I'll have I'll have way more better than for y'all. I'm sorry. I'm Don't even worry about it. Just be ready. You guys See, remember, no drinking and driving. I'll talk to you soon. No, today's Monday, so no drinking and driving. All right, brother. All right, <laughs> brother. Chang on the building, baby. Okay, guys. I might have to work on a two-hour thing, but right now I think the one hour is good. We don't want to overcook the grits. I'm not a big believer because you got to understand, I don't get commercials. Cal and Coward and them, they get commercials. That's why they think be two hours, two and a half, because they split it with commercials. I, I think it's just all rawness constantly. Let's start the giveaway. Good luck to everybody. We sold out too. Let's get it. Okay, let me make sure you guys can see it. Let me shift this here over. We're going one through 20. Giveaway one, then we're gonna do giveaway two, 21 to 40. Let's go. You guys gonna hang out? Make the right decisions. If I could be a part of you making the right decision, I did my job. If you don't, I'm going to feel like I did. Especially the ones tuning in. Okay, one through 20. For those that never seen the spin-off, it's my call. If I say no play like an umpire, it's a no play. It's got to be efficient. It's got to. I got to feel good knowing it's a good spin. Let's go. Let me marinate it. Let me make sure every ball gets marinated. Yeah, we get you next week, Vega. Vega, that's what happened when you left us last week. Now you stood the whole show, you ain't getting no chicken. Last week you left early on us. Here we go. Here we go. We got a winner. We got a winner. You know what? Listen, I didn't look at the balls. Two balls came out. I'm gonna redo it. I'm not looking at the ball. That's the way nobody gets teased out. I gotta redo it. Two balls came out. Let's go. You just want one ball. One ball, not two. I know that sounds funny, but I'm keeping it on. Let's go. We got a winner. One ball. Thirteen. Thirteen's the number.
Oh my God! Shane goes the winner! He just caught it! Shane goes the winner, baby! His second win in like 42 weeks. God bless you, bro. You deserved it. Wow! Finally got a win, dog. I know you happy. I can see your smile like the Joker, baby. He wear that Joker smile. Okay, 21 through 40. I gotta hurry up. I'm almost. I basically have time up, but I'm gonna keep going. 21 through 40. Big Tango with the upset, baby. He can finally wear a different shirt, finally. Twenty-one through forty. Here we go. Let me marinate. Here we go. Marinated every ball. Every ball has to get marinated. Here we go. We got a winner. We got a winner. You see it, right? I know you see it because I see it. one ball. One winner for giveaway two. 33. 33. It's the OG, Brian Ford, baby. Brian Ford, four-time champion. Ford's his name. Let's go. Woo! Okay, let me make this quick, guys. Another great show. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I always got to give it up to you guys. I keep telling y'all, Fridays is very busy for a lot of individuals. People got to go to work. People got their days off. And I truly, like, uh, appreciate the, the hour that you spend with me and everybody else and the contributes that you put in. Even if you don't like me, and you're watching the show, thank you, thank you. Because everybody not gonna like everybody, but all I can say, you can't take away what I do. I give you the best that I can give you, the hardest that I can give you with the most wisdom. So even if you don't, you, you gotta accept greatness, it ain't all the way around it. People don't like Tom Brady, but he's great. I know I'm great in what I do, I've been doing this too long. And I know I'm dedicated. But I'm not going to make this all about me. I'm going to make it about y'all. Thank you. God bless you. And, and I just really appreciate you guys, especially my diehard people that tune in regularly. Because y'all know in your hearts I'm not letting y'all down. I could take a beat down. Y'all know what that means. I could try my best and, and not be my best, but I'm going to give it everything I got every time. That's why I know y'all keep tuning in, because y'all going to get that work. Y'all going to get that work. And with that, thank you, Miss Part-Time, bro. Great job, as always. Sportsbook Jeff was going through trials and tribulations, still made it his business to tap in. Even Ernest Vega, who left early in last week's show, had a couple of drinks, got on some Vin Baker, and forgot that he was on last week. But he tried to get on this week. Salute to Ernest Vega. And last but not least, Chango, who's going to start talking about the Vegas Knights and got his second win. God bless everybody. Al York Sports, open sessions and giveaways. Salute. No drinking and driving, y'all. That If there's anything I could give, y'all, I'm stressing that because the cops are on that. I promise y'all. They will shut your whole life down. I'm telling you. 
Regret is at the end. And with that, love y'all. L your sports.